Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we'll be talking about some of the best color combinations are color codes, hex codes, in the color spectrum for Valorant to help you with your aim and your competitive gameplay in ranked playing Valorant. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So there are actually quite a few um, codes online that you guys can use to basically play with and the name of the game is Trial and Error. So we're going to see which um, uh, which color combinations work best for you guys uh, when it comes to um, Valorant. Now, the thing about this is um, a lot of the uh, crosshairs visibility is going to depend on which map you guys are playing on. So a good rule of thumb is to always keep note of these codes right here. So I'm currently on this website, the spike.gg, and it's going to provide you with a couple of color codes that you guys can try for Valorant. So if you want to go for black, obviously the code goes uh, 0000, actually uh, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, so six zeros um, is going to get the black color. And this color uh, works very well in bright maps. And the reason for that goes without saying is because of color contrast. So it's going to depend largely, largely on uh, what works best for you guys. But um, if you want my opinion, I would um, make a habit of changing the crosshair color for every map that I'm on to see which color um, contrasts the most with uh, the environment or the background. And the reason for that is because um, if you guys play a lot of FPS games, you'll find or you'll notice that um, along the way, once you keep playing a game, the color of your crosshair will start to, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say disappear, but your brain will start to ignore it. Because uh, the reason for that is because um, the crosshair kind of blends with um, uh, the what you're seeing on screen so it's kind of your brain's way of telling you that oh uh, this crosshair blends in every time i boot up valorant so it's going to start to ignore the crosshair so a good way to do it a good way to keep playing fps competitively is to um dynamically change the color of your crosshair accordingly to the map so it's going to be the opposite so if it's a bright map you can use something like um dark colors like um purple or yeah purple or black or even a uh, dark blue and if you want to <clears throat> use um, green, then that would be ideal for um, darker maps as well. Or maps that are, let's say, um, in the desert biome or in the snow area as um, green kind of contrasts with that, uh, the locale or the map. So um, just go to this website right here, copy these codes and import them into um, your game and see which, uh, which ones work best for you. Now, the ones that I recommend are black uh green or neon green turquoise or teal this one right here or i guess they call it breeze or i should say um here are actually some recommendations so for the map ascent you want to go light blue for bind you want to go um sky blue sunset you want to go white so um just basically uh do some trial and error so yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And if it does, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.